Let's go to the thing. All right, all right. Dude, I am so freaking proud of all of my runners right now. Everybody's running like freaking monsters. The day has gotten warm, and I'm seeing some people out there freaking doing what the heck it is we preach as a company, what the heck it is we're trying to do culturally here, which is we have people going to the deepest, darkest recesses of their soul, and they're running like gosh darn monsters. Let's go! So you want me going out? 615 pace. 615 pace and, and it's gonna feel boring. It's gonna feel boring. But you know, boredom is a luxury um, in life. Um, stole that one from 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 Anshali, but uh, uh, it really is in the in marathoning boredom is a luxury, right? Because the alternatives to boredom are um, cramping, misery, and bonking, right? Now, feeling amazing and invigorated actually comes from the board because you're like wow this is great six fifteen pace from the gun is gonna create six minute pace the last uh the last six miles right yeah and overrunning this course on the front end has comes with some peril because of um, there's some downhills on it and if you overrun it early and you pound your quads, then the course bottoms out on those fast flat sections at the end. Sometimes, you know, you start hitting that gas hole and suddenly there's no go. So just holding back even five or 10 seconds a mile slower than you feel like you could run can net massive gains the last 45 minutes to an hour of the race. My body just wants to. Yeah, you just. It just wants to go. You know, when the gun goes off, you're gonna realize, man, I'm tapered really, really well, and I'm, I'm rested and I'm ready. Yeah. Six oh five pace is two thirty nine. It's right on the edge of like, man, but there comes there's some there's some. There's some danger in trying to do that because when you, right when you find out that, oh man, maybe I should have run 610, 615 and held it in. By the time you find that out, it's too late to do anything about yeah. it. It's like those old commercials, you know, when you see the Roadrunner chasing Wally Coyote and all that, those, those stupid commercials, you know, where they're, where they're running and they, and they go and they have that, oh shit, look, when they go out over the cliff and then they go fall straight down. Once you start going down in a marathon, you don't just miraculously go, oh, I feel better now and all of a sudden climb back up and get on the cliff. So the trick is just don't ever go over the edge of the cliff. Stay 610 to 615 yeah. early and then... So do you have any doubts of this goal that I'm setting to run sub 245? No, because doubts and concerns would emanate from coaching somebody who's uncoachable, from somebody who's incorrigible, for somebody who doesn't respect that there's fences on the edge of the ranch and you don't want to jump over them at any point. Your ability to achieve what you set out to do is virtually unmatched because you're the easiest person to coach I've ever coached. He's probably about four and a half, five minutes from the 5K mark right now. Everything's just got to be going really, really smooth. The drama doesn't start for another hour and a half. Got to turn the train off.
shit out of it the last three plays. Played the patient game. Good. For because there's that many people running under a six minute yeah, pace. No, it, it, it's nuts how many fast people there are on this planet. I just laugh because there's so many people who are like, oh, you know, I want to do this, that, that, the other. I'm like, you guys got to understand, yeah. you know, the way he's dialed in, the way he pays meticulous attention to detail, the way he takes care of every single thing every single day, that's hard to do. It's really, really hard to do. And I think he makes it look so effortless that people think, oh, well, I could just go out and do this. And a lot of people can, but man, you've got to be dialed. You've got to be dialed every single day, every minute. Yeah, my honey, come back. Sometime I'm on a red back jack. Sometime I'm gonna hop in my back. Sometime I'm going over here. Sometime. He's at 604 pace. You take 6 times 60 plus 4 is equal to 364 seconds per mile times 26.2 is 9,536.8 seconds divided by 60 is 158.94 seconds divided by 60 is 2.649111 hours. Point six. 49111 hours is 38.94. So he's on 238.94 pace. 0.94 up 60 is 56. So he's on 238.56 pace for the marathon through 10K. Good, 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 good. Okay, you're about to catch some massive downhill and flats here. So just sort of relax your shoulders, relax your face, take gels, take fluids. Really smooth. Really smooth. Good. He never interacts with the camera if he doesn't feel good. And he gave us a little, what do you call this? Rock on. Rock on. Which is good, because that's more than we ever get. So I think he's uh, doing actually, good. What was his pace there? His average 605 still. 244 was legitimately the goal, but the reality is his workouts were so good that it's justifiable to be running the pace that he's running because he's fit enough to do it. It's just, we're gonna see what happens with the heat as it starts warming up towards 60 degrees at the end. It doesn't sound that warm, but it can be a little bit warm when you're losing uh, electrolytes. Okay, let's go that way. Yes, sir. I don't ever allow myself to start getting excited, overly excited, until they get to 30K. And that's when I'm willing to start allowing dreams to start seeping in of like, man, maybe today's the day. <laughs> and then, and then, and then the chickens either come home to roost or everything is perfect at 35K. You usually find out. 30 to 35K is when you find out. This race started here. No crowds, no cheering, because I knew this moment would come. The wall, where the wheels fall off or where preparation shines through. Marathons and miracles don't tend to get along. This race is simply a reflection of your preparation. I obsessed over the details. I showed up every single day. And in this moment, my job was simple. Finish the race. K or 35? 608. He's hurting. This is where toughness, commitment to process, commitment to the moment all comes into play. Good, 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 good. Come on, Nick Bear. We got to get to the finish line here. I'm going to have an emotional meltdown. 
Did we get a 40k update yet? Oh, come on. All right, let's punch it. Turn right, right here. I just think we're not doing good math in our head right now. We gotta go. Steph, do we have a 40k update? Come on, Nick Bear. It's getting incredibly warm. It's a grinder's race right now. I'm on the GPS trying to turn right, right here. Done. Oh, we can't turn right. Okay. All right. He's so far under 245, which was the stated goal that, um, you know, that he he should be he should be able to hang on. I mean, I don't want to anger the marathon gods, but he should be able to hang on. I heard all these people cheering BPN and go on more, and I realized in that moment that I'm not running for myself. I'm running for all the people who believe in this brand, who work for the, this brand, who believe in the mission, who believe in go on more, who wake up every day and push themselves. This, this race for me was not to, to prove to myself. It was to show everyone else that if you put in the work, you can exceed your wildest dreams and expectations. There's no ceiling. This race was, was truly not for me. It was to, to show the love and support that you guys show us all the time. I owe this to you guys, so thank you. Dude, fuck. So fucking happy about that. So happy about that. It's one of the best runs of my life. It's like I just fell into a rhythm holding 6.05 pace. I executed that prep so well. I executed that race so well.